Hey everybody, Ooh. welcome back to Anderton's and we are in the gallery today looking at another British made guitar brand mm. that we're sort of proud to start stocking. Um, you may have heard of Cream Tea Pickups, um, but they also make a couple of guitars as well. Uh, and they don't just make any old guitar, no. No, no, no. Uh, they have designed something in collaboration with Billy Gibbons. Uh, I guess that relationship has started with his whiskerbucker yep. pickups. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two things cool about this guitar. Um, first and foremost, anything that Billy Gibbons puts his name on is cool. So that is number one. Uh, typical, isn't it? Yeah, you I take the, the one, one that didn't it. <laughs> but number two, which is uber, uber cool, and we're going to whiz into our studio and check them out. These guitars have two different backsides. One looks like this. And one looks like this. Okay, so the one over there, that, that's a, like a normal guitar, if you can say such a thing, um, designed to Billy Specs. So the few anomalies here that you wouldn't so normally see on other guitars, no pickup selector, but it's loaded with his Whiskerbucker pickups. You've obviously got the sort of Motor City wraparound tailpiece, a beautiful guitar. Yeah. You can see it's single cut inspired. But that guitar, unless you change the pickups the old fashioned way, is always gonna have that set of pickups in it. Mm -hmm. This guitar, However, and we'll do some more close-ups in the studio, magnetic back plate. That's so cool. And then, this is where it gets super cool. If one day you decide, I don't, I don't really like these whisker bucker pickups, I would like to hear what it sounds like with- P90s. Anything. Yeah. Well, it could be a Seymour Duncan or a Lola or yeah. a Dimarzio or whatever it wants to be, or, or another cream tea pickup yeah. for that matter. Or single coil. Um, cream tea have licensed this technology from a Swiss guitar manufacturer called Relish Guitars, who you may have heard of. Uh, it's very Swiss. It's very, very functional. Club work. It works. Yeah. And that's literally it. So you, um, you would order your pickup, which you would, which would be sort of made with this, um, or retrofitted with this sort of magnetic uh, back plate on it, Ooh. and then pop it in there. And, and that's it. Do you have That's it. It's no so wiring. Jammer. Coil tap still works. I mean, it's clever. So let's take a couple of these into the studio. There's another uh, shape actually in the range, which we'll have in the studio too, called the Crossfire, mm. which is a, like an offset style guitar. Um, I but saw that. yes, That's cool. uh, the BFGT, or indeed, if you want the one, and again, I'll tell you a little bit more about these. If you want the one that's a sort of a slightly more affordable um, and similar, but not identical, and therefore not uh, the BFGT kind of truss rod cover, uh, there is that one as well. So anyway, off to the studio, Mr. Pete. Yes.
welcome, 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 TV, welcome. Uh, the Dad Rock channel of choice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Dad yeah. Blues. Yeah. Hashtag Dad um, Blues. Well, 2022, what a year for British guitar manufacturing. Just what a year. I know, what a yeah. year. Yes, I mean, it's terrible other than that. <laughs> uh, but uh, just this year, we've uh, met the guys from PJD and we've met the guys from uh, Seth Backus. Backus, yeah. Um, and now we are Backers. looking at cream tea guitars. Cream. Uh, cream tea, because originally, oh, he says reaching down here. Have uh, a reach around. We, um, we spoke to the guys at Cream Tea yes. because they were doing uh, the Whisker Bucker, the Billy Gibbons Whisker Bucker. Is it a whisker like this, or is it a whisker whisker? Is it a whisker? Yeah. Or what? is it a... A whisper. No, it's a... It's a whisker bucker, isn't it? Yeah, whisker, not whisper. It's not a George Michael Careless Whisper Bucker. <laughs> that would be an awesome name for a pickup. Let's be honest with you. The Careless Whisper Anyway, bucker. so we, we started speaking to them about those and, <laughs> Where um, you buy those? and the Sorry. Bernie Marsden pickups. Yeah, true, 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 true. Um, yeah. And then they e. s sent me a set of pickups for my uh, Les Paul, which is really cool. Anyway, no, eventually they said, why don't you, can we show you our guitars? Because they're kind of cool. And uh, there is a the sort of pickup story as well. In fact, of course, We've already told you about that at the beginning of this video yeah, exactly. when we were in the studio. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, look, I've got here the uh, BFGT, uh, yeah. which is Billy Gibbons kind of collaborated guitar with Cream Tea, mm -hmm. preloaded with his whisker buckers. Um, no switch, as you can see here. So just a volume for the bridge pickup, volume for the neck pickup, tone control, wraparound tailpiece. I, I believe it's from a company called Motor City. Wraparound, Set baby. neck, really lightweight. On screen now is what the chambering looks like on one of these guitars, which is very, very cool. Very cool. Um, and I, funnily enough, I said to Pete, kind of gives me a little bit of a vibe of those B&G kind of uh, guitars. A little that, bit. That sort yeah. of, it's like, um, it's, a, it's a bit like, a, almost if you imagine the Les Paul was like a guitar from the 1950s, mm -hmm. it's almost like maybe this would have been from the 1940s or the 1930s. That sort of vibe of yes. just like yeah, yeah, yeah. not, you know, sort of like an old school version of that. Um, we're going to, in this video, I've got a whole box of different pickups here. We're gonna, we're gonna change some oh. pickups around. Oh, don't do that. If changing pickups is like, mm -mm, that's wizardry, I don't like it, but I still like the idea of owning a BFGT, which one of these do they get? This one? Yes, there this you one. Go. Look at that. So, look at that. that. so you can, of course, just have this guitar in a, a multitude of colors. That's a nice without, flame on that, um, isn't it? Without going down that route. Green. Uh, and then what Pete's got is the Aurora, which is the, basically oh, well, it's the non flame. Uh, Billy smokes. Gibbons version of this guitar. So uh, the routing inside of this, routing? Routing, routing. 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 You routing, say potato, I, I say, yes. I say is um, the same as the BFG one, except the BFG initials aren't there. Perhaps if we put the picture on screen now, a little like this bit won't be here. It's the same. Um, flip it, sorry, Pete. Flip it. Uh, Reverse it. Tunematic bridge and tail piece, yeah, rather than uh, this. Uh, traditional mm. way of switching it, still with two volume controls. Actually, is it two volumes or two tight? It's probably still yeah, two it's, volumes, it's two, isn't it? and, and, oh, and yes. split split. Which is split, even split. more remarkable when you consider that these pickups all just pop in and out through magnets. Uh, Hello? old schooly style, you know, tulip Hello. type clues and yeah, like those. a really small headstock, which actually looks lovely. I really like the headstock. Guitar, look at that. Didn't yeah. do anything. It just balances. It's a very much run with a Martin headstock, actually. Yeah, me oh. too. Uh, satin sort of mahogany, open pore finishes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Set neck. Uh, yes. Set neck. Uh, and then we'll come to in a minute, uh, the other shape yep. that Cream Tea do with some other, uh, cool features is called the cross. We'll fire. come to that. I've noticed you've got, yeah, Shall I've I do noticed tones? you've Should got, do I don't know, you've got a binding on, on the neck yes, that I don't have and the headstock. Absolutely. Stock. There's quite um, a big price difference between the Aurora and the BFGT version of it. I'll tell you what. You give us some tones I'll do there, some man. tones from this and then you do tones from that because although they've got the same pickups in them, they are different bridge and tail piece. So, okay, I am going to turn off, these are no pedals now. That is a, a nice ringy, sync. big sounding. That's my bridge pickup, which isn't sort of. Oh no, that's both. Sorry, I've turned them. I've inadvertently turned them both that's up. The so let's start just with the neck. Juicy. Juicy. Uh, let's just do the treble pickup now. Yes. 
that's a bit more familiar territory for that pickup. Or both together. And then of course, you know, any combination. Do you know what? It takes a little bit of getting used to not having a pickup selector. Yeah. It's very stratty, isn't it? With that in that Ooh. in between, you know. Say what? And then the pedal I was using in that opening sequence was the new Victory V1 Sheriff. With that a little bit, good, of, with a bit of delay from. Uh, neck instead. I, got, yeah. I have to say, you I, like playing I am, the guitar, don't you? I I'm, can tell. I have done. You know those instant connection things that you make. You go, oh, I do like this. So I do like yeah. this a lot. Um, what I don't have with humans. <laughs> that is now let's just see. So you've got this roughly ish, the same guitar, very slightly different uh, chambering, different bridge and tailpiece, and a switch. Yeah. So, and, and obviously a, different, a completely different, different pedal board and amp. So. Yeah. so there's a bit of delay on there. I'll take that off. Is that that one? Yeah. And you know what, so I'm looking at it now going, I think this uh, little pickup here is a little bit too low for that neck one. Well, you could so certainly adjust it. So I can just go like it. this and I can just go, Ooh. Oh, you're kidding. So it's you not even see the that, side screws, it's just... No. So this little thing here, I'm just turning that. Oh, that's that? ridiculous. Clockwise. And then the pickup... That's such a great idea. ...rises up. I thought it was going to have to be on the... me up. up. And then... And then and I can change my so, so there, unfortunately, it doesn't tune my guitar, but you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, Tronical invented one of those, but we as guitar players decided we didn't like it. So we all took our pitchforks and flaming torches exactly, out. Exactly, but we were very excited about it, like we were excited about this now. So let's see what happens. Shops that let's, sold them. let's see what happens in the comment <laughs> section once these come. So a little oh, bit wow. of uh, gain from the deco. That's nice, I like that. Of course, I can, uh, you know, adjust the uh, thing. And I can split one pickup and not the other. <laughs> Creamy. How does it do with fuzz? Because it is, Oof. after all. It's so easy to play, man. I mean, it's so super easy to play. All of the specs, including individual photographs and weight and everything Whee! of all the Cream T guitars that we're stocking will be on the Anderson's website. This is called a Crossfire. It's the cheapest one in their range. It's kind of, I should say, perhaps using the word cheapest isn't the right word. I mean, this is all of, handmade in the UK. So everything is kind of, you know, 2000 pounds and upwards, even on this model. And I think, you know, these get 
more more um more but this is kind of cool now the the, the, the like crossfire shape, has set. the same Very concept cool. of the sort of the, you know the removable pickups the difference being Super is that Simple. the um crossfire <laughs> comes with uh, a pair of eliminator pickups whereas the auroras as standard come with um eliminator the whiskey buckers uh, anyway <laughs> let's have a little listen so the wizardry doesn't just end here. There is wizardry in this switch. Uh, this is called a freeway. So that's not three-way, but pronounced badly. It's freeway as in roads in America, right? A yes, freeway. A freeway. But oh, I, think, just I think the joke is that it's you kind can, of a three-way. You can go everywhere with the freeway. A menage it's more a than, trois, It's as more than that. It's a six-way then. Exactly. So anyway, That's the idea I have. being you have is three that ways, but... uh, it's not a broken switch, basically. It has an up position and a down position. The I don't know which way around it is. It's easy to find out, but one of the positions is coil tapped. There we go. So down is full humbucker, up is coil tapped. That's, That's clever, actually kind of clever, isn't it? That probably is easier than having to, you know, pull the old top hat. Off. Yeah, because these can be quite, you know, they can be quite sticky. If you're sweaty is, and sticky, the knob will get sticky and sweaty. feels, and again, rubbish job of research here on our behalf, this feels more like a stratty scale length, whereas yeah. these feel more Les Pauli sort All of feeling. All the links are below, man. Uh, yes, but let's have a little listen. So down was humbucker, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? I'm I'm impressed. It's incredibly light. I, I imagine we're probably weighing these and putting the weights Way. on our website too. But this weighs feel that. I mean that's like it weighs like yeah. the lightest kind of pine telecaster weight ever. Yeah. Uh, is, I think uh, the go faster stripes are an option. You don't have to have this, but I like those. It, but like it is a, a generally speaking, I think these are all this sort of satin open pore finish. So look, I guess the the cool thing, the whole point of this video was to Choose a guitar that you particularly liked feel-wise. Maybe we'll just use one of the ones that we haven't used yet. Yes, 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 yes. changing some pickups. I want to try this, this one here. Uh, Is yeah, that the one? exactly. Oh. Maybe not that one. Um, I'll try this one then. Yes, good choice. Okay. Okay, yes. so I'm Let's just looking this. through here. I've got a P90 Bridge oh, yeah. pickup by Cream Tea. Oh, I, sh I should say if I didn't, I think I did in the opening clip. Oh, what did you um, say? This pickup sort of magnetic housing is licensed from a Swiss firm called Relish Guitars. Some of you might have heard of them. Rel Relish kind of started making guitars a few years ago. Very, very high concept, like, you know, sort of, you know, if there was a, if there was a, some sort of innovation, they tried to do it. And I sometimes sort of think it was probably for most guitar players, sort of too much innovation in one go. The whole plate just came off like that. And there was like, a, yeah. yeah, but it's but, beautiful. But the bit that Cream Tea liked and have licensed from them is just this, pickup mounting and the idea is pretty much any pickup so not active pickups but any passive pickup humbucker format or p90 format so if, if you know seymour duncan demarzio lola cream tea themselves bare knuckle whatever can be um purchased from cream tea and they'll mount it yeah, yeah, yeah. for you from what i understand the really popular pickups, so there'll be like, you know, 10 or 20 really popular pickups from the various brands will be available to buy off the shelf. And then if you want something sort of custom done, I believe you can just send in the pickup that you want doing okay. and they'll mount it for you. But that's a, that you just contact Cream T for directly. Uh, sorry. Anyway, so we got another P90. We've got a, a, a banger, a banger and mash. A banger and Olsen. A banger and Olsen, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, there we are, that's the matching but a banger a, to go A banger with. in the back of a taxi. Uh, the bigger box I'm guessing is set, so it's a Bernie set, a Bernie Bucker set. Banger Bernie. Uh, this is a, oh, there's not much point putting those in, that's the uh, Whisker Bucker set. Um, <laughs> and another banger pick up here. And Gonna then, bang a Bernie I'll whisker. tell you what, just because, 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 uh, this is the 
I'm not even sure these are actually for sale yet, but let's have a little listen to these. This is the El Capitan set oh. that they made for me. He says clang clang. So let's just show people yeah, in just, real time how so easy just, this is. I just want to. That's literally. That's the neck. So just remember you know, that. A little, little bit of a. So this is real time. Tuner on. I'm guessing. Or no. no, I don't know. No tuner on. You're just going for it. I'm going for it. Could I have the neck first, please? Yes. Yeah. So there's a, there's like four little clips there, like a battery, and you just go wallop. That's so cool. And wallop. And I didn't even, you know. That's a Dane, That's by the way. I'm not even going to turn it down now, okay? Smell, smell that, smell that. Oh, oh man. Uh, uh, thick apparently, leather. the El Capitan set is an overwound set of whisker buckers. And I realize now I should have gone for the whisper buckers just because obviously I'm far more George Michael than uh, Billy Gibbons. Uh, bridge. So who's Bernie this? Bernie in the bridge. Okay, upside down. There we go. Bernie in the neck. Bernie in the neck. I've literally not turned this guitar down. It's just, it's very quiet. I just clicked them straight in. Yeah. So that's output in these, believe, for sure. I, I thought the Bernie Bucker was uh, out the beast, the one they've taken yeah, from yeah. the beast and yeah. wired in. Love so you, I kind of, I thought that would be hotter. The El Capitan set sounds the hottest so far. Well, would it? they not be really, you know, randomly wound those pickups back then? <laughs> no, but in, 19, in 1959, surely they were just like, oh, we just Could wound be. whatever. They're much more like a telly. You know, that's like the same as my Les Paul. It's got that sort of telly. Bernie, can we? Um, <laughs> so I'm making a mess here. Can we just put I, these back into that? Because I, I yeah, feel like I'm, um, I'm sort of interested in seeing how me. this uh, P90 one. But okay, you so, so here's That's a good cool. and you can mix and match, right? Exactly. So you grab this. Would I'll you want a P90 at the, the bridge P or the P90 neck? The neck. Okay, that says it's a bridge one. So let me see um, if I can find the. I think this is a bit like those sort of you know that that synergy. Um, yes. Modular. Yeah. To, it's the same. I think it's kind of like a similar idea, isn't it? You have one guitar and you just basically have like. So what if four I'm playing down here and I don't have the pickup button and I play down here? Oh, well, then you look even cooler. Then you are instantly can, Malcolm Young. <laughs> I could do that, couldn't I? Oh. <laughs> People play with their teeth, you know. Malcolm Young with Malcolm well hung. <laughs> look at that. There you go. Much more. That's cool, isn't it? What happens if you try and coil, coil tap a P90? Doesn't do anything because no. there's only one coil to coil to split to Just split. wondered. Oh, Just hang on, wondered. let's see. I don't think there's a great deal else to really tell you here, but Pete, could you just do the honors, maybe take that for a spin? Yeah.
I guess you can even put this, even though it's a neck one, you can still put it in here, I reckon. I don't know what would happen. Let's find out. Whilst Pete is doing that, I should tell you as well, if, if Pete and I were, sort of had any kind of constructive criticism of, of the crossfire, it's that the, if you flip it, Pete... Oh, it doesn't work. The, the back plate is... Um, oh, wait, well, I'm putting it the wrong way around. The, mm. the, the back plate obviously is not is not. Oh, yeah, you're missing, design. It's just, you're, missing, you're missing that yeah, bit here. So it, I don't know. For me, it, it looks very slightly unfinished. Well, but, if done um, here, would uh, make it, true. then this is how this it would is look, true. isn't it? It still works. I don't know why. What even is the difference between a neck isn't pickup more and a bridge pickup? And stuff? No. Hey, somebody come at me because I do this. I'm a rebel. Yeah. That's clever, man, isn't it? Yeah, the, all the housing and everything is the same. Yeah, I don't, it's just honest, manufacturers I don't even like know what makes a neck pickup, not well, a bridge pickup. I tell you who will know me. People in the cream, comment section. Cream tea. Yeah, people in the comment section for shizzle. Oh, well, there you are. Look. That's so very clever. We, I can have hours of fun with this. Hours and hours and hours. Anderson's has bought a few of these guitars, uh, and we've got a few sets of pickups in there. So um, why not take a trip down to the gallery and check them out or contact one of the guys? Perhaps they'll do a little video call with you or email exchange or whatever about what you might like. But I, like I really like them. Yeah. I'm sort of... Uh, it's yes, I'm, I'm rather bit. taken with uh, with this BFGT model. You're smithing. Smithing. Mm, especially in the blue. I don't have a guitar in this colour. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, uh -oh. That's, what, that's, that's the only reason anyone needs any more to buy yeah, a new guitar. I don't have it? a I just don't have it in that colour. Uh, there you are. Well, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, or this morning, or this evening, yes, or this weekend. Or whenever. So yeah. please like and subscribe. We give away prizes there below. Um, but anyway... I won't tell you about the timestamps now because you've already watched to the end of the Yeah, video. yeah. The end. See the you later. End. Au revoir.